Power Season 4, Episode 3 was off the chain. Welcome, welcome to Nicole Reloaded. I'm here whew, to give you my first review on Power Season 4, Episode 3. We're in this together. Okay, well, it starts off with Ghost, he's in jail, of course, still, right? And he's trying to keep it together. Marshall Clyde Williams continues finding his ways to pick at him. Marshall catches James off guard while the inmate is bench pressing and pushing the barbells against his neck. I mean, seriously, ugh, like he really couldn't breathe. I'm up here like, oof, essentially choking him. Apparently an inmate died in a similar incident last year. And as always, Marshall reminds Ghost, James, <laughs> that no one cares about him with his cop killing self. Breathe in and breathe out. How are you supposed to breathe in and breathe out when he's being choked to pieces? Now, James isn't the only one going through something. <laughs> Tommy sleeps over at Tasha's place. He wakes up to Keisha's text asking him, where are you at? Keisha is not playing because you know Keisha definitely feels that Tasha takes every single thing that she can from her. So she definitely doesn't want to lose Tommy and no way at all. And she's definitely scared that she might end up getting caught up in all of this and that Tasha will flip on her. But I believe that Tasha is really, really loyal. You know what I'm saying? So when Keisha comes over, she finds out that Tommy slept over. Uh-oh. She tries to play it cool, which we know isn't her strong suit. I love Lala in this role. She is awesome. She plays the heck out of this part. She's done. She's doing a, um, an amazing job. Her and Tommy hook up with one another. Honey and the Sparks are flying. He is tapping that. Mm, mm, mm. Made me think outside of the box. I tell you that one. For sure. Tommy picked that thick thing up and he handled it. Now I wonder how Mr. Uh, Anthony is feeling about seeing his beautiful wife getting, you know, hit up and flipped up and uh, juiced up on the, uh, you know, stars TV screen and all. Because it surely do look like he's a... Uh, enjoying it and so does she <laughs> now you know what meanwhile Sax and Sandoval are upset with Angela over the traffic stop now Angela did warn and let them know before they even got this far in this case about that traffic stop with Ghost and um, um, Knox she warned them so we can't blame her on this one, you know. But they tried to as if it was her fault. And then Mac doesn't even take her seriously, although he defends her. He needs his team to get tighter evidence now that the DA, the DNA has been thrown out and he knows that Angela offered Ghost a bum deal, hoping that Ghost would flip on Tommy as we all know that they're in that together and he is not gonna flip on Tommy he's definitely not gonna flip on Tommy why would he that is his brother in crime and he really did not even do this you know so I don't know I do know that um, Angela offered this deal to Ghost behind Saxon and Sandoval's back. So, he's not thrilled at her inability to be able to follow rules. I mean, she just does whatever it is that she wants to. You know what I'm saying? Asking her to dig deeper in Tasha since, since the gun raid from the penthouse came up clean. I mean, come on now. The lawyer shuffles and continues as Silver and Proctor questions James about knowing Bailey, Julo, and Dre. Now you know what ghost basically told him that he pulled these guys straight up out the hood, you know what I mean? He gave them a job at the club, you know, trying to do right by the thugs in his community, you know? 
ghost is innocent. Okay? He's innocent. So, now we're at to the part where Tasha runs into Angela. And you know Angela, she is no good, okay? Angela is trying to basically convince Tasha that he played both, basically that Ghost played both of us since James St. Patrick played both of us. And I didn't offer him a deal, which is a bum deal at that. If he lied to me while I was having sex with him, you know, all the times that he left you and wasn't at the club and he was with me, I had to come to the realization that he was going home to you ultimately at the end of the night. No, really, witch? You didn't realize that James St. Patrick was married to a hot, chocolate, beautiful queen? Okay, how could you not get that, Angela? I know you're a little bit smarter than that. Well, I don't know. So, and as you see, y'all, Tasha keeps running into Angela. Angela is trying to put that heat on her, and Tasha knows how to hold it down. And she tries to, she tells her, you know, you know that I offered him, you know, a deal or, you know, whatever. Do you realize that you can go to jail for the rest of your life? Are you willing to go to the, go to jail for the rest of your life? And Tasha sits there looking still like, ooh, B, I could choke the life out of you. You know what I'm saying? So that's that part. So then we get back to, let me see, where are we? Tasha um, goes and picks up the kids from school and she ends up talking to, I believe, the principal of the school. Come to find out, all the money is shut down. The feds and shut down the money in the bank account. The check is bouncing off the walls, so Tasha don't have no money. The feds shut down truth. So ain't no, you know, there's no access to keep the drugs rolling, rolling and funneling in and out. The feds and shut down Keisha's hair salon. And then you got Malik, hard-headed butt. Ooh, wait, that's a hard-headed boy. Teenagers can be something else. He's a little disrespectful something. How many of y'all can show me down there in the likes, subscribe, and all of that good stuff that y'all so sick and tired of Malik? I know that he is a teenage boy. I get that. But Malik really needs to pull it together. But he doesn't know the truth because 50 Cent Keenan has filled his head up with lean drugs and now some young little girl about to give him some poot nanny and I hope his little wing thing don't fall off. I mean, gosh, isn't that just disgusting? Keenan got little girls, you know, young teenage girls is giving up sex to his crew. I don't know. Maybe I'm taking that a little bit too far. Maybe the little girl was just there for him. Or if she's overage, then that's rape. It's just all twisted and crazy. I mean, Malik is an angry teenager. He hates his mother. He hates his father. Everybody's lying. He flips off his, you know, flips off his sister, you know, hooking up with these, uh, with his young uh, little friend from school while Keenan come in there and rob the place, buying. I mean, oh my goodness. It was off the chain tonight. It was really off the chain. Tommy kills an FBI agent that could help Ghost get out of the case, but the well, he's Homeland Security. He could have actually blown up the spot, though, for Tommy, though, as well. So that was really twisted. Proctor can no longer be ghost attorney because of conflict of interest. And Proctor goes to see Angela and lets Angela knows he ghost James did all of this for you I told him if he would just leave you and just let you go and that you were a bad idea and so on and so forth he wouldn't be in this situation he did it all for you that's not his gun that's not his gun Angela Angela takes her slide self to the computer to check it out to see if that is true she looks at the evidence she looks at the videotape and guess what Angela finds? She finds that Ghost is not guilty. So 
So now we have to wait to see next episode, next week on Stars. Please do me a favor, y'all. Smiggity, smiggity, smack, smack, smack. That subscribe button, thumbs up, like, share. Please comment below. Let me know how you're feeling. And um, I got some more reviews coming up for you. Hopefully, um, Black Ink Crew. And um, maybe I'll try out some Basketball Wives. You know, maybe I'll just do the reunion on that. I'm just feeling my way through this. So, but make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, though, for me. All righty? God bless, love, hugs, and kisses, love bugs. I'm out.